Hello everyone. Welcome to this video electricity. We'll be looking at our just normal current electricity questions. And the question says uh, uh, the uh, the figure below shows four, six, and the eight uh, ohm resistors connected in series with a three point six volt battery. Uh, now we are saying so we have these they are all in series when they are arranged like that. Calculate the effective resistance. So what do we mean when we say calculate the effective resistance? So effective resistance is just the total resistance. Okay, so effective. So effective resistance. Okay. Effective resistance is equal to since these are just in parallel, I'm going to add them the way they are. Resistor one, resistor two, resistor three. So this will be 4 ohms plus 6 ohms plus 8 ohms. This will give us 18 watt ohms. As simple as that. B says calculate the current delivered by a battery. So in talk of current, we are going to use the ohms law. Current is equal to voltage over resistance. The current delivered by, by the battery means the current flowing through the circuit. So the voltage here is 3.6 volts over the resistance here we know that it's 80, 18 volts. So 3.6 by 18, we get 0 0.2. Now what are the units for current amperes? Symbol is A. Done. C. Sorry, pardon. So we have C. C1. Calculate the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor. Now we know that voltage is equal to current times resistor. Now what do we have to know something about uh, resistors in series is that they have the same current. Now the same current which is here. It's also here. So even here we have 0 0.2. Even here 0 0.2 current is 0 0.2. But, but voltage is different when resistors are connected in series. You need to know the difference. So like this, the voltage is different but the current is what is the same. So voltage current is 0 0.2 amperes times resistance is 4. So when you say 0 0.2 times uh, 4, we are getting 0 0.80 volts. Then 2, V equal to current times resistance. Current is the same 0 0.2 amperes times resistance. What do we call, what's our resistance there? Our resistance is 6. So just 0 0.2 times 6 and we're getting 1.2 volts then 3 we are saying voltage is equal to resistance times current so it's 0 0.2 ampere times 8 to give us 1.6 volts when you add all these three they should give you the total 3.6 and that's you are that, that's what you answer keep in mind in a series like the way they are this current is the same but voltage is different that's why we've found these different voltages but current water is the same